Dan and Ty, the science guys. <laughs> With special guests, Navi Mateas, the physical trainer. And Jason Russell, the nutritionist. <laughs> and Tyler! And me! Don't do that. Hey everybody, this is Ty, the cardiologist. And I'm Dan, the engineer. And today on the show, we're going to talk about the circulatory system and the heart. The heart. Dumb, 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 mud. Kid, what? What? Ah! First up, we have our special guest, Matthew Mateus, the personal trainer, who's from the Canadian Institute of Physically Active Short People. He's going to talk to us about being physically active and how it's good for our circulatory system and our heart. He's uh, running a bit late, though. I'm not sure where he is. to strain our muscles. Unfortunately, the heart, we can't feel our heart. So we, tr we, we have to move much more so we, our heart pumps faster. If our heart pumps faster, the heart pumps faster because uh, we need more oxygen to function our body. So our heart, so our heart has to pump all the oxygen through our body. Uh, next slide that's good for is moving your arms and your legs. This is called cardiovascular. Fascinating! Woohoo! Important! Hey everybody, now we have our second guest speaker, our special guest, and it's Jason Russell, the nutritionist! Woo! Yeah. How you doing, man? Good, Jason. Oh. Me and Jason used to be buddies at the Institution for Healthy Food thing. We're pretty good friends. <laughs> okay, our special guest Jason is a nutritionist and uh, he's going to talk to us about the links between good healthy eating and our circulatory system. So Jason, what, uh, what kind of diet would you recommend? Well Dennis, there's no specific diet for your heart. Mm. I recommend you follow Canada's food guide. This is what they recommend. <laughs> Eight to ten servings of fruits and vegetables, two to four servings of meat and alternatives, five to seven servings of grains, and six to eight servings of dairy products. Woohoo! That's how you do it, boys. Now our guest speakers will have a special presentation. Oh my god! Oh, body break! Do 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 do! Yeah! Yay! Starring Matthew Mateus and Jason Russell. Yeah. Here's some good exercises that are really good for your heart. <laughs> Extreme skip roping. <laughs> ah! Ah! Hard, like hockey, basketball, soccer, and anything that makes you move. Or you could do stuff like you do every day, like run away from killers. What? Oh god! Die! Remember, don't forget to eat healthy foods, vitamins, and be strong. 
An apple day keeps the doctor away. Stay alert, stay safe. Body, Body break! break. Woohoo! Okay, so I'm the engineer. So my main role is to describe the blood flow and the direction of flow of blood through the whole circulatory system. So with the help of this beautiful diagram, I will be able to do that. So the blood, well, because it goes in a big circle, it doesn't really start anywhere, but we're going to imagine that it starts right here in the right atrium. So the blood here has no oxygen in it. That's why it's blue, but the photocopier made it white. Anyways, so it starts over here, and then as the heart pumps, it goes through this little valve here into the, um, the right ventricle over there. Then through there, the heart pumps, and it goes through more valves until it goes out of the heart, Woohoo! and it goes into the lungs there. And the lungs are like giant sponges that absorb a bunch of oxygen. So they have oxygen. So the blood needs to fill up with oxygen. So there's these little, special little vessels called capillaries. So once the blood from an artery goes into the capillary, it is enriched with oxygen. Therefore, it is oxygenated. So then fr that's why it turned red, because it's oxygenated. Woohoo! So then it goes back from the lungs, back into the heart in the left atrium. Then from the le left atrium to the left ventricle, and then back through the whole thing again. So it pumps out of the heart through veins and arteries and all sorts of everything. And it goes through all different places of the body. That's this big network here. So it goes through everywhere in the body that needs oxygen, which is everything to maintain itself. Like the brain or the legs and muscles. And here we can see the kidneys where the blood goes through and it's um, filtered. And then the, the digestive system over here and everything. So once the blood gets there, there's more capillaries that, because they're so small, they allow the gases to pass through them and they absorb all the oxygen that was in the blood and they make it deoxygenated. Then from being deoxygenated, well, once the muscles or whatever the blood, the oxygen has gone into, once they have their oxygen, the blood has to go back through its whole circuit, through the giant network of everything, back right where we started in the right atrium.